So today we're doing something a little different. We are, last night I downloaded a bunch of demos on Xbox. And I thought that we would play a couple and see how they are. Max, the curse of brotherhood. Yeah. I like to imagine that Max is a girl. I mean, that hair swoop. Maxine. He uses a lot of hair gel. Do little kids use a lot of hair gel, though? Like, at what point... I don't know how old he is. If you think about, like, Jimmy Neutron, remember that kid? He used a lot. A lot of hair gel. I don't remember kids at that age using hair gel, though. Yeah. I agree. Oh, yes. This was me when we were little. <laughs> and you wanted me gone. No, I didn't. I think you did. No, because who else would I play with? That doesn't I make any sense. Did. Who would I play with, though? Myself? Giggle. You did throw things at me, though. Yeah, because you wanted me away. Um, another thing, we're timing ourselves so... I mean, demos are already timed, but... Uh, we're giving yourself like mm, maximum of eight minutes per game, and then maybe we'll talk a little bit about like what we liked about it or something. I don't know. Oh, this, this is, is all new. This is very labyrinth. When she was like, "I don't want to babysit anymore. Take the kid away," and then he like the Goblin King comes and he's like, "Well, all right," and you have to go. That look like a Goblin. That did not look like David Bowie. It looked now. like a Goblin. Uh oh. I was about to say. Maybe they didn't like Labyrinth, and they're like, I'm going to recreate it. How I who, doesn't, who doesn't like Labyrinth? I didn't see it. <gasps> I'm not a movie person, though. I haven't seen, like, anything. Wait, this is the first time I'm hearing of this. I told you last night I've never seen it. Oh, my She's God. She's lying to you. <laughs> no, I, I honestly don't remember that. Yeah. I blocked it out. Yeah. Erased. Okay, so he brought his backpack, which is good. The reason why we downloaded this, the pictures looked really cool. It's adorable. Um, it only has, like, three stars on Xbox. Haters. For some reason. Well, we can't say that because we don't know I just said haters, bad. I don't know. Huh. It could be, you know, terrible. What but, is um, happening to his hair? It looks cool. And the controls aren't that weird, which is nice for me because I'm not really a gamer. Yeah, you are. I like watching games more than playing them. Um, you like I, puzzles, though. I am playing today. This kind of reminds me of Limbo. Yeah, I've never played that, so... It's really cool. Yeah? Yeah, I liked it. I got bored very quickly, uh, I gotta be honest. Well, are you into repetitious puzzles, or is it... Like, at a certain point, do you go, eh? I'm struggling a little. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I fell. Alright, cut this out. Just kidding. Because I'm editing it. Um, there we go. This is kind of, this is sweet though. You know, the game, the story. You're saving your brother. We should look up, maybe I'll put in the, um, in the, uh, description who made the game, because, you know, I didn't even look that far, I just kind of, last night was like, I'm bored, I want to play something new, and downloaded a couple demos, um, this is really cheap right now, it's like, I want to say, under five dollars? We can put it in the description if you want the information on this, if you own an Xbox and you're looking for a really cheap game to just kind of... Yeah. Playing it used to. I think, yeah, it was probably five. Yeah, and this is, like, again, I'm not a big gamer, so if you're looking for something low-key just to, like, relax to, it seems pretty good. Do you find this so relaxing? Far. Well, I think, I'm sure it's gonna get a little hectic. Um, but right now it's pretty good. Oh my god. Haha. <laughs> You know, like, that awkward beginning where they're trying to teach you all the controls and stuff, and it gets kind of tedious, because you're like, okay, I just want to play. I feel like the demo's not really giving me that, which is nice. It's throwing you right in? Yeah. But it's, like, not 
too quickly that I won't understand what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we're in trouble. Let's see. All right, maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. I feel like if you like this, you'd probably like Never Alone, which I believe is on Xbox, so we should get that. I'm not good in high stress situations, especially not in games where I'm like, we're all gonna die. This reminds me of the Crash Bandicoot that we used to play when we would be like chased by a bear or oh, a tiger, yeah, yeah. was it? It's a bear and something else. Yeah, I think. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm gone. Oh no, I'm not. Climb up. That was luck. Whew. A few minutes ago you were like, this is so relaxing, and then... <laughs> well, there's always, like, the uh, suspenseful parts, you know? Because they're trying to get you interested if it was, like, too low-key. Oh. limbo on here um i got so bored with it so quickly that i i don't know if i could do it i mean maybe let me know in the comments if you would like to see it because i'd totally give it another try what about it like when did you stop uh i i gotta be honest i like played it a little intoxicated <laughs> um so maybe that's why it's, like, not the type of game to be oh, playing. Yeah, probably. Do you feel um, alert for it? I don't think I was in the puzzle mood. Oh. I'd totally give it another try because it was really cute. Whoa. This I like. This is cool. Whoa. And I'm still jumping. That's gorgeous. Although the mirage is giving me, like, a, like, the, it's moving. Yeah. It's making me, like, disoriented. Yeah, it's a little hard to see my character, too, but it's cool to see the surroundings instead of, you know... You get kind of bored with the 2D stuff. Mm -hmm. He's a little too small for my liking, but I'm not the one playing it, so I don't know. It reminds me a lot of Limbo. I wonder if the same people made it. Probably not. Not if it's only $5 right now. Well, Limbo was on sale the other week. Oh, really? I really recommend, like, looking at what's on sale. And just going with it? Yeah. If you don't have anything, like, if you're like us and you're waiting for Life is Strange Episode 5, <laughs> <laughs> and you want to just do something now. Ooh, that's cool. And you're also debating, should I spend $30 on that Dragon Age DLC when it's just caves? Oh, no! The answer is don't do it. I like how it's easy, like, you don't have to press an- it, the controls are very easy. You don't have to press another button to, um, like, grab onto vines and stuff. It's all very simple and easy. The water effect is awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. That's so cool. It's really, really pretty. The art team kicked ass on this. Up you go, Max. I'll tell you how to save the brother. Huh? Let me describe. <clears throat> For centuries, I have sheltered this world against Lord Mustacho. Uh... Lately, Mustacho has gained the upper hand. I hold. <laughs> But so is he. To rule the world once and for all, he needs new energy, a fresh spirit, a new corpus. Your brother. Mustacho keeps Felix there. Succeed where I failed. Go to the castle. Stop Mustacho before he absorbs Felix. <gasps> but beware Mustacho's eyes. Now, Max. Hand me your weapon. 
I will grant it my soul. I don't have any weapons. All I have is this old magic marker. Ooh, that will do pleasantly. <laughs> It's nice that you get a little bit of the story in the demo, because I think some demos that we've played, you don't really get much of the story, they just kind of throw you in. Mm. But I guess this is story heavy, probably, or at least there's like a narrative that you should know before you buy it. Your weapon contains my soul. Only you can wield it, Max. Go on. Pick it up. Hmm. I really like that his sort of Gandalf figure yes. on you go, is uh, Max. Is kind of guiding is him to mm -hmm. the lady. Mm -hmm. And an older woman, too. You really don't see older women who are helpful. Yeah, or like heroic, or mm -hmm. it's very rare, especially in these games. You create, you can destroy. Who isn't like she's not Your the villain? Weapon will be drawn to nature's most powerful places. There, I the mark will is pretty cool. Gain in like Harold and the Purple Crown. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's so on. cool. The town is not far. From there, Why isn't there a game for Harold Crown? There, there might be. be. There has to be. Eyes. Destroy it if you can. I like purple better than orange, but it's too bad you couldn't pick the color. Oh my god, there's this game. If you go on... <laughs> this is weird. I might cut this out, but <laughs> if you go on addictinggames.com, which is what I used to do all the time when I was in high school, um, and you... Oh. I got distracted. Um, you look up Fancy Pants Adventure. It's this guy, like, stick figure guy, and you, like, go through different puzzles and stuff. Um, and you can change the color of his pants. So, is that the whole point of the game? You change his pants? No, you, like, go through different puzzles. So, there's different rooms, almost like Portal. And you kind of figure out your way around the room. Um, and you can change his pants color if you've, like, beaten a certain amount of levels. We can we can stop here, but um, if you want to get this game, it's on Xbox right now. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be on Xbox Live on sale, but it's pretty cool. I like it. So the next demo is Sonic. <laughs> um, Sonic Racing. Yeah, we were looking for, or I was looking for a racing game because. Uh, we had some difficulties with our PS2 with Crash Team Racing, and I remembered Sonic, and there are a couple of different Sonic games that are on sale, and by on sale I mean over $10. Um, so I don't know if that's exactly what you want to look for, but we can start it. See how it goes. Oh my god, I have not played Sonic in so long. So, like, there's limited options, so I'm just gonna do, like, the generic stuff. I'm going easy, because it's a chill night. You can deal with it! It's a chill night. Um, so I can only be Sonic. I'll go standard, I guess. I don't really know. I'm not really a big... I've never played Mario Kart. Sorry. <laughs> um, but I did love racing games when, uh, we were younger. I wasn't good at them, but I liked them. What was that one? Jet Moto. Oh, Jet Moto. The most awful racing game in existence. <laughs> Ugh. So this is really similar to Mario Kart, because I have watched people play it, I just haven't actually played it. Um, where you get things that you can use against other players in order to get ahead. Um, Very Crash Bandicoot as well. Yeah. This is an like old... every, every kind of racing game. 
Really? Whoa, Ooh. whoa. I got hit by the dragon. Um. This game automatically is the best because it has a dragon in it, in my humble opinion. Oh, missed it again. Damn it. Again, not the best of racing games. Um, but I do like it. It's so really far. pretty. It's pretty and it's pretty easy to control. It's not that difficult, which is nice. Because some racing games, like, you know, they make other characters good at steering or good at this or good at that. And this is kind of pretty uh, generic, I guess. It's probably cheaper than Mario Kart. Yeah, well, with it being on sale, ooh, um, that always helps. So if you're looking for something like that that's come out in the past But something years. a little different, yeah. Because Mario Kart, like, I think is good, but I it looks repetitive to me. Again, I've never played it, so I don't know. I keep missing those. Bye. <laughs> I wonder how hard these get. I don't know. As oh, you go further. We're in the water now. Oh, cool. So every lap changes, I guess. Yeah. So these are like cannonballs, like in, uh, aha. Uh -huh. Um, crash team racing. And like the waves are little jumps. Mm hmm. Alright, alright. Oh! Got hit. Oh! Got hit again. That was rough. This is a hard time. Yeah. But you're in third, which isn't bad. Yeah. That bastard Tails is in front of you. It's harder to do. No way. Oh, what that did. You sent a rocket at Tails' ass. Oh no, not the Hornets! So would you say that it was more difficult in the water? Yes. Oh! I don't know why he's dancing in his seat, but... So the dragon pieced. Oh, because there's a giant worm. Okay. Oh! Whoa! I forgot that the controls are not inverted. Oh, these bees. Worst part? Well, the flying is good because you can get away from them, but... I'm sorry, I'm like concentrating real hard. <laughs> it's okay. Real hard. First place! Ah, oh, don't dance! I love how he's doing well and then he gets out of his seat. Oh no, I missed it. I'm so close to the end! Ah! Don't hit me, bro! <gasps> I did it! Oh, nice! Woo! Oh, yeah! Well, that was lucky. I was going to say, I'm going to play that again. <laughs> that 
That's good, right? And you're only gonna get better. Well, that's sad. Enabler. Um, yeah, so I say I download the demo and then decide. I think that's my advice. Um, but I think it's worth trying, seeing if you like it. Yeah, definitely, especially if you are a Sonic fan, like, particularly if you're a Sonic fan. I would give it a try. Yeah. Okay, so our last demo that we're going to play is Lego. I think it's the Marvel Adventures. Um, so if you're into superheroes, that's what's up. If you're into Lego games like we are, that's what's up. We love the Lego games. Yeah. I think they're really good at condensing a really long story into a very short game and very mm -hmm. short dialogue, but you still get the story even if you weren't, like... We just finished The Hobbit. Is that what we did? The Hobbit? Yeah, we just finished The Hobbit. And I don't like Lord of the Rings. You can be mad at me. That's okay. But I find it very boring. It's and, my favorite thing in the world. Right. So that's why we got it. And um, mm -hmm. Lego made it fun and interesting. And now I kind of understand the plot a lot more. Yeah, because I dragged you to two of The Hobbit movies or one of them? One. I, I dragged you to, yeah, you fell asleep, you didn't understand, I tried to, like, explain it, but it's very, like, convoluted and confusing, so. Right. If you don't know the history and stuff, it's really hard to understand. I can understand that, yeah. So, you've seen all the Marvel movies, right? No. Ne <laughs> neither have I, so we're good. All right, well, <laughs> all right, so we're not experts, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna show you what's up. I feel like, though, Lego games are funny and accessible to a lot of people. Like, yeah. you don't have to... It's good to know just, like, for those who are experts out there, self-proclaimed experts, and those who have been dubbed the experts, Yeah. Um, you know, you can take whatever you want out of it and All say that right. it's good or not. I, I can't really... Would you bring me some of those I can't say from accuracy. Why didn't they make me but I can say from I fun times. Them. Yeah, like I have no idea what's going on here. Sandman. Oh, so now they're prompting us. Okay, good. Sandman. Ah. So he controls sand. Oh, no, can I be Iron Man? Holding Grand Central hostage at rush hour. I wanna fly. Now that's criminal. I wanna fly. Always got a little Lego goatee. An iron teeny. You have to remember to look before. That is a good. It was Robert Downey Jr. the one who is in this movie. Yeah. That is a good Robert Downey Jr. Lego. Yeah. That looked like him. How'd they do that? Abomination. Hulk. I know. Bad guy. Jillian can read. The Did they prompt us for Iron Man? I missed it. No. Oh, we all just, just we know who he is, so I guess. Well, he's Robert Downey Jr. <gasps> oh, how oh, cool! Oh, cool! Are you the Hulk? Yes! I don't want to switch characters. I just want to beat stuff up. He's got his little pierce to all the haters. Haters. Take of, that. Haters of the Hulk? No. Haters of the world. Oh. General hate. The only problem with Lego games, and let me know in the comments if you feel the same. Um, what the hell are these things? Oh, they're the sand things. I'm supposed to beat them up. Um, you get distracted with all of the coins you I can know. get. And the fact that the Lego game that's competing with Minecraft has coins worries me. Because not only is Minecraft addicting, and it's like a similar game, which I'm sure I'm going to play. Oh, what are these things? Um, but now there's coins that make it more addicting. I watched someone play it, like the demo of it, or the, I think it was the beta. And, yes, there were coins. And I'm like, there's no way! What, when would I have time to build? What would I build? I have to get coins. We 
We should really play The Hobbit again. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, oh my he's so cute! Punches. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, that's adorable! Because I wasn't reading the directions! Bye. Like Abomination. Yeah, alright. So this game... <laughs> you know. I don't know. Explain. <laughs> um, I like it. It's different than other LEGO games because it's... Ooh, that's violent. Because it's other superheroes, so you get to, like, fly around, and um, it seems more... Puzzly than some of the other ones. But I could be wrong. I could just be. Like, all of them have puzzles in it. So if you don't like puzzles, you wouldn't like Lego games. Um, you might like watching someone play a Lego game for the story aspect of it. It's definitely fun to watch. I'm watching right now. You still build. Which is nice and appropriate. Only big Lego figures like Hulk can pull green handles. Oh, people are clapping. Because I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. Whoa. He waited, he held that car the entire time, waiting for you to come over. He's so dedicated. His breath. Hit him. This is like when we had to fight that, uh, thing in The Hobbit. We had the duel aspect of it. Yeah. As I don't well. like repetitive clicking. Hate it. That is like the least favorite thing about video games is, oh, keep clicking. Is that why you didn't like fighting games when you were kids? Yeah, that's why I like Dragon Age, like being able to play the combat part because it's, you just hold down the trigger button rather than like constantly hitting. Um, so it's a little bit less annoying. First of all, to listen to, but. Sandman. Is this in one of the Marvel movies? I feel like I wasn't aware that this was a thing. Well, it is the Marvel Lego game. Or are they going with, like, comics? Stuff? Sometimes, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes they... Ooh, Sometimes they do things that, like... Like, we tested out the Lego movie Lego game. And the scene that we played in the demo is not something that was actually in, um... Ooh, I just hit Iron Man. Was not actually something that was in the movie. Well, they did breeze through that town. Like, it, it's a... Yeah. The town existed in the movie, but they didn't really spend any time. Yeah, they just made it longer. Yeah. yeah. So there were scenes in it that were new. Right. But you know what? I guess they have to do that, because if you don't put new content in, who's going to want to play it? That's true. Like, if you know it word by word and, like, line by line, then... I like flying around though. This is pretty cool. I gotta be honest. And that's pretty easy too. I think this is a pretty easy challenge. You should go back to Bruce. 
Whoa. That looked so gross. I thought that was bees for a second. I thought it was roaches because Blech. we're in New York, so roaches. Sandstorm. Ha <laughs> ha! I get it. Wow. Ah! <gasps> Can I be Spider-Man, please? Please let me be Spider-Man. Oh my god. Spider-Man! <gasps> Am I gonna be Spider-Man? I'm gonna cut out all that and just put Spider-Man in. He's my fave. Oh my god. Thanks for swinging by, Spider-Man. You Avenger guys are really great at making a mess. Hey, Ew. I just replaced Not that. the bees! <laughs> Name that movie. I don't know what movie it is. I just know it's Nicolas Cage. <laughs> oh! I was like, what is she talking about? <laughs> Nicolas Cage. You oh, can, shit, and you can quote me. Yeah! You can quote oh, me on that's this. that's so cool! Nicolas Cage is the best actor alive. Seems like I've got my hands full with you. You went to see The Hobbit. But I wasn't awake. Remember when I told you after that a certain actor was in it? You were like, no way. From Love Actually? The guy who plays Bilbo? No. Oh, wait, I can just climb up. That Pie Maker show. Lee Pace. <laughs> yes, but what's the show called where he makes pies? Pushing me. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, Lee Pace is in this. And you were like, no, and you slept through it. You missed him. Can I not climb up in the Hulk, remember, you can transform back to normal when you calm down. Oh! Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh. I was under the impression Bruce couldn't turn it on and off at will, but I don't know anything about Marvel, so. Uh oh, people are gonna be mad. Of course he can't, Jillian! Jump! How could you not know about it? I get that way about the Hobbit sometimes, though. But not really. I don't want to build. You have to. Let me build. It's probably like if you can unlock another character. You know how Lego does that? Yeah. Where like you collect all these characters and at the end you can replay the game but you can change characters and unlock more things. Mm -hmm. That's something I like about Lego games and something I don't is that you can never really win. You want to win? Well like we finish a game and it's like you're 31% done. Oh yeah it's really frustrating. And you're like what do you mean I'm 31%? Oh. Yeah. That's because you completed the main quest, but you didn't do any of the side quests, so they're like... And you didn't collect... There's certain, like, coins that you can get. He's really mad now. Underscore hype. Glados. <laughs> underscore hype. I'm gonna do this in every video. And then Stop. everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, I'm never following you, and they'll all unfollow you. No, they'll block you. you got me that 
I'm alright with it. Don't be a hater. Don't throw things at me! I don't know how you're supposed to get out of this thing. You're shit out of luck. I gotta be Iron Man. What is it? It's interesting in these games, like you're doing a puzzle or you're building something, and you really don't know what the fuck you're making or what you're doing until it happens and until it's done. Oh, that's what I was doing. At least I don't. The water! Yeah, so let us know if this actually happened in the game. Is this accurate? Would you buy it? Do you like it? Do you think it's kind of cool to have like a... I don't know, I'm asking all the questions. Just tell me what you want to tell me. How about that? Alright, so that was a demo of the Lego Marvel game. I think this is on Xbox on sale for, I'm not sure yet. Um, definitely above five. Mm, I think it's in like the 10 to 20 range, under 20, but definitely above five and 10. Um, so, you know, if you want like a relaxing game, it's nice to have some stuff to relax with, you know, when you start playing kind of story heavy or just content heavy games it's nice so to relax with something kind of cheesy exactly yeah it depends on and what you're looking for you're looking for nostalgia heart. you're looking for something that you've been I a fan of for a very long time and you're dipping into it again down, or you're looking for something new and fresh that kind of you know seems fun and low stress it depends but um yeah give it a try if you have given it a try let us know what you think Mm -hmm. Because we haven't bought these in full yet, but if you, the Femhype crew, Femhype hipsters, want to... Uh, They're going to be so mad that you're calling them. <laughs> well, they have to pick a name. If you want us to buy one of these games in full and see the full thing, then let us know and we'll do it. Or if you think we should never waste our money on this kind of stuff. Then also let us know. If you, want us to do, if you want us to do other kind of demo games... Let us know, too, because I'd love to do this again. Um, I think demos are awesome. Yeah, we'll show you what's on sale, what you can afford, uh, what, you know, what you want to see, and we'll do it. All right, so that's it. That's all we got. Thank see you next you time. Thank you for joining us.